Hey guys, welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I'm going to show you how to get a mod a holster from an M4 Mag pouch. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do like, comment and subscribe um, because those interactions will help me get seen by the YouTube algorithm, helps the channel grow and that'd be really great. Uh, if you do want to support the channel a little bit more, uh, channel memberships are enabled. It's just 99 pence a month or whatever the equivalent is in your country. You get custom videos, custom giveaways uh, and things like that and massively, massively appreciated but totally optional. If you did want to do that, that'd be amazing. Uh, and last but not least, there is a link tree link down below. Uh, click that and it will take you to all of my socials, including my Discord, which is a really great community. So, uh, following a request from a Discord, my Discord from Arnold, <clears throat> he was asking how I get my... <coughs> excuse me how i get my aep with its top slide in a holster uh, so i told him i'd make a quick video so there is my uh, tm glock 18c aep um, with the top slide which is not ideal but obviously it's the only way to sort of get that might not even be the right orientation there we go and the end plate's coming off There we go. So, got a variety of sort of um, suppression devices for the end of it there, just to uh, to illustrate. So there it is with one of them on. We've also got tracer unit and the big bad boy uh, Osprey suppressor. Uh, so obviously those of you that are also interested in my, this is my typical belt kit when I'm not running my new Russian gear. So we've got here a Condor H harness. Uh, slightly padded, nice and comfortable, just in OD green. Um, we've then got a Viper padded mole belt underneath, and it is very comfortable. Uh, so starting on my oops, <clears throat> left hip then, um, we've got all Helicon pouches, basically, uh, apart from the dump pouch. Excuse me. So we've got just a standard M4 mag pouch. I've cut the uh, bungee retention just to help it take AK pouches. That's just if I need to take extra mags. Because I find it easier, I've got a Helicon Tex E&E &E, uh, pouch, which is quite a, a big empty open pouch, because that will take usually about six or seven uh, mid caps. I run about seven mid caps um, per gun that I run, basically. So that takes most of those in there quite nicely, plus a couple of pistol mag pouches if I'm running my AP as well. Uh, it just makes it really convenient that I'm not having to fiddle in and out of big pouches. Um, those, it is pretty deep, you know, my hand is even AK mags sort of sit just at this level. Uh, a few people have seen it and said, do you not lose mags? Even with running about, I still tend to not lose mags. Uh, and if I know I'm going to be running a lot, uh, I tend to just lock it up and then click it out, which is easy to do uh, mid firefight with um, a gloved hand. You know, that buckle opens really quick and easy. Uh, we've then got uh, generic, just a mesh dump bout pouch, quite a deep one because obviously I run mid caps quite often. So, uh, I'm quite trigger happy, so I get through those quite frequently. Uh, so I need plenty of dump pouch storage. I've then got a um, utility pouch. Again, all of these pouches, in fact, I think most of this was bought from military first, actually. Um, just a utility pouch. So I usually keep like a bag of ammo and a speed loader. My BFG uh, goes in the next utility pouch round, but that's more ammo and reloads. Then I have a utility pouch that put my uh, grenade in, my BF blank firing grenade uh, with 9mm blanks in it. That usually goes in there. Um, there's nothing else in there. And then we get to the holster. So this is just a typical M4 mag pouch, the double mag pouch, the kind that had a bungee strap on it. Uh, so the first thing I did was removed the bungee strap uh, altogether. The uh, flat, the top lid is adjustable so I can unvelcro it there and adjust it uh, height adjustable. And then what I've done is underneath is I've just cut a hole out in the middle, the bottom so you've got a retention point so even with the um torch on the torch uh, will sit against this otherwise it goes in nicely the trigger guard will catch it and the pistol grip will catch it so that sits in there quite nicely flap comes down and it keeps it really nice and secure that's not going anywhere um, even running about it will jump about a little bit but it's not actually going to come out and then it's just a quick flick and draw out and there it is so that's with uh, that muzzle device on just switch 
Let me show it without. So without, it sits out a little bit at the bottom there, not particularly far, but again, it's really safe and secure. I've got no issues with that. With the um, tracer on it, There we go, just in case I wanted to. Um, again, it sits in, generally comes out nice and easy. Sometimes I can find that the material can sort of catch a little bit and I just find just dropping it in and pulling it back out again usually releases it. Uh, I tend to find that the more in a rush I am, the harder I find it is to get it out of that, uh, that holster. But it's rare I actually take this uh, into a game as a sidearm. If I'm running this, I usually run it as a, as a primary basically with nothing else. And then last but not least, because I'm sure everybody wants to see the great big honking suppressor on the front. I've got a couple of these. One is uh, on the Division uh, 2 TK45C and the other one, this one is from my dressing up kit for the gun. So there it is, obviously more than doubles the length of the gun. But even that will fit in there. I mean, it does sit well down my, you know, goes, fear of sounding a bit dodgy, uh, it, it goes right down my leg. Um, but it does come out. I uh, generally find that if I'm moving about, it can catch a little bit. So I have thought about trimming this little bit back a little bit further than I have done. But it does keep it safe and secure in there. Uh, and, you know, that pouch only cost me a few pounds um, from um, military first. And it was spare anyway because I wasn't using it because I'd gone to the E&E &E, um, e &E pouch there. What I will do is I'll provide links to these pouches from military first as well. Um, so you can have a look at the types of pouches. These are all in Polish woodland um, because they match with my uh, Polish woodland camouflage that I use, which is my uh, favourite sort of camo that's not gawkers and things like that. So, Arnold and anybody else that's interested, I hope that's been useful to you. I'll leave you a couple of pictures at the end there. And uh, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.